Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to set up your own Steam machine using the beta version of Steam OS. Steam OS was released on beta just a few hours ago and it's basically their new operating system that is based on Debian. And the minimum hardware requirements for running SteamOS is an Intel or AMD 64 bit capable processor, 4 gigabytes or more RAM, 500 gig or larger hard disk, a Nvidia graphics card, and a UEFI boot support on your motherboard, and USB port for installation. So if you head over to the link on the description or on the uh, video now that will take you to this page which is build your own steam machine and it will show you how to create your own SteamOS beta installation. There are two versions or two different installation methods of SteamOS. The, re the recommended uh, method is the default installation method which is a pre-configured image based install using Clonezilla. The other method uses Debian installer which allows for customization after an automated install setup and you can use either of these methods however the default is much easier to use. So this video is going to be showing you how to use the default installation method. I will do another custom installation method afterwards. However for now uh, in terms of simplicity we'll use the default installation which uses basically an image uh, that it will restore onto the hard disk. So by clicking the link on screen now at this page it will tell you what to do and basically what you need to do first is download the SteamOS beta installation. That can be done by clicking on the link on the screen. And you must accept the end user license agreement and please remember that this is a beta so it's not going to be perfect. So if we tick the box and hit download SteamOS beta. And then if we download the file to a location on the hard disk. And this is simply a zip file with a file name called sysrestore and this is basically the image that is required to run SteamOS. And you've also got to note that the download will take some time as it's 2.4 gig which is a fairly big file and at the minute lots of people are downloading that file at the minute so you've got to be patient. So once download has completed you'll end up with the zip file called sysrestore and what you then need to do is format a 4 gigabyte or larger USB disk with the FAT32 format and extract that zip file to the USB drive. As you can see I'm using a 16 gig PQI USB disk and if we right click on it and click format and when this window pops up we need to select the correct drive and in the file system you need to make sure that FAT32 is selected it won't work if you use NTFS or a different file system. Hit the quick format button and hit start. And it'll say that formatting the disk will erase everything and if you click OK. And hit OK. So here we have a blank disk. So I've opened the zip file in 7-zip. What we need to do is to extract it, we just need to drag it over to the USB disk and let it extract. So once the files are finished copying your USB drive is ready to install the new SteamOS beta. So once you've extracted the files you'll need to connect them up to your host system. For the purpose of this tutorial I'm using a virtual system on VirtualBox and as soon as you connect up the USB drive simply boot your computer and it will start installing the SteamOS. So once the SteamOS installation is finished simply hit the continue button and allow the computer to restart. So once SteamOS has booted up the default login is Steam and the default password is also Steam And this will log you in to SteamOS. So once logged in you can boot up the Steam app and run Steam within the new SteamOS. Thanks for watching this video, please like, rate, comment and subscribe. 
If you've got any questions, please submit them to benstechtips.co.uk.